Dennis is obviously a consummate professional, but he's also incredibly present acting. There's very few actors I've ever acted with that seem so present that there's magic in their eyes. And when Dion calls action, Dennis just subtly changes in terms of physicality. You can tell he goes to a different place, but he's right exactly there as Charlie Peck. And there's something terrifying about that, something exciting about that, and something that draws you in if you allow yourself to be present as well. So Michael and I have a bit of history in acting together, so I knew that we'd have a great dynamic on screen. Um, mainly for me was listening to Michael, how he was going to present Scott, his character, and how to play against that. So if Scott's going to be a little bit more refined, a little bit confident, knows what he's doing in his world, but maybe a little bit more, a little bit more hesitant as a person, I thought my job would be a little bit looser, a little more gregarious, um, a little more outgoing, so we would complement each other. Uh, it's easy for us to play, and I just think that a lot of people are attracted to people who are like-minded, but that are, you know, it's like a little bit of the opposite, you know, something that would complement. He's doing a classic thriller, a real homage to the throwback of the classic style of thriller and I mean back from the 50s through the 80s to today that he's taken certain specific elements that have worked consistently constantly made them true which is his stamp truth which is what I appreciate and I think the audience is going to be in for that ride it's going to grab them it's going to suck them in and the scare is going to be real because they're going to be saying that could happen to me so it's very present, and I think that that's transcendent.